Okay, here are some ideas about coming up about things you can do to come up with the original story idea. Now, in improving writing, the number one way to improve writing is to have a great story idea from the beginning. And trying to, to find the next great story idea to to work with can can be difficult sometimes. So here are a few ideas. And by working with these, I think that it will get you in the habit to where you could be continuing with the, the rest of your life besides writing. And then you find yourself realizing you have thought of the next story idea that you want to write as a story. <clears throat> okay, if you remember your dreams, this is kind of like a dream journal, but it is not a dream journal. You're not doing dream interpretation. You're not writing your dreams down just to, to as a way of becoming more aware. What you're doing is you're taking the opportunity of dreaming to change them around, to rework them so that they become stories that in, really I think for, for this exercise it's better that your readers don't need to realize that they came from dreams. The idea is that when you're dreaming you're working with this really potent uh, high power imagination <clears throat> state of mind when you're dreaming, your, your, your mind is using many times more imagination power than it does in the waking life in, in, in a certain way. So that you're, when you dream, you dream up these whole new worlds and they're filled with, with people and events and seemingly their own system of, of, of life. And they usually are bounds beyond our expectations. They really get outside of the way we normally look at things. So they're an opportunity to explore new perspectives and, and, and angles on what can happen in a story that, that have never been thought of before. As an example, I'll, I'll tell you, I had a, a dream a couple of weeks ago where I was part of a team and we'd wander down into this underground area where there were these kind of docks that there was like the, an underground ocean and our job was to feed these whale sized creatures that would float up but they didn't know these whale sized creatures you know as as large as the largest animal on earth would float up but they didn't know any better they would just as likely eat us as they would eat the food that we were bringing to them. And that, that was more or less the dream. Now, what I would do with that, when I would wake up, I'd write it down, but I'm not doing Jungian dream interpretation. I'm not trying to, to discover something about myself. I'm trying to mine my dream world for great story ideas. And <clears throat> this particular dream, it doesn't take too much reimagining it to turn it into a great story. I mean, one thing I could do is I could have, you know, a worker who I could turn it into a kind of sci-fi story where there's a worker who feels <clears throat> stuck in, in, you know, just being trapped and doing the same thing day after day and becomes curious about who these creatures are, what they see, where they go. They seem to be able to, to go into whole new worlds than humans are able to. And so one day the, the protagonist lets himself or herself go ahead <clears throat> and get eaten by one of these creatures and, and is digested. But by the nature of, of these creatures, who they are, the, being digested didn't kill the protagonist, but just constituted the protagonist's mind into that creature where the protagonist was then felt like they became that creature. So uh, that is an example. The reason I make these tutorials is to get the word out about the story I'm writing and, and producing as animated episodes for free viewing on the net. 
Please, if you like my videos, take the time to go to solomation.com, S-O-L-O-M-A-T-I-O-N.com. Watch one of the episodes and, and also you can get the first book and if you watch this sometime in the future, hopefully you, you, you can get also the second and third book. It's a series, it's called Terrible Immunity. So, so um, you know, if you like these tutorials, you can do that. You can also hit the like button, subscribe, and, and leave a comment, and that'd be great. Another thing to do is to become a collector of great story parts. Through your day, the people you talk to, the people you know, the, the things you, you know, watch on the news or on the internet, there are, look for the story elements and create a document. You can either keep it in your journal or have a document on your computer. Mine is a, a text document that is just great story parts. And so by keeping those, you kind of build up all these ideas that you may or may not have forgotten that then you can work them, rework them in your story not necessarily the whole story, but you can use it to, to make your characters more interesting and convey their, you know, more of their personality in, in a faster, more impacting way. You're not necessarily writing them down to use for later, but what you, when you do, when you find these, when you collect the story parts, you're cueing your mind to look for them. You'll start seeing more because by writing these story parts down, you're, you're telling your subconscious to pay more attention to your world in regards to finding great story parts. I'll give you an example of, of here's a recent one I found. So you have a, a family who runs a business and they have uh, an employee working for them. And so the family want to drive out to get a, a, a puppy for their family. And, and while they're out there, let, let's say that the wife of the family said, oh, so-and-so who works for us talked about how they always wanted a, to raise a dog. So they decide to get two of these puppies and bring them back and, and gives the puppy to the employee who takes it. The employee takes the puppy home and, and really had just said that he, he or she wanted the puppy just to, for good conversation with, with the employer, was not ready to have a puppy, was not ready for that level of responsibility and it just turned into a huge heartache. What, what were they going to do with it? They, they didn't want to take it to the pound and you know a couple of days of this of being frustrated of uh, as soon as they get home from work they have you know take the puppy out you know just really a bad situation till it gets to a point where the employee just brings the puppy back gives it back to their employers and quits and that's a story idea i mean, it 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 would i think that that element would could possibly work well in another story that I might be working on where I, I want to find some way of bringing out my character. The next time you're talking to someone, the next time that you overhear people having a conversation, the next time that you're people watching and, and you watch something go down between two people in, in public, ask yourself, is there a story here? Is there is there a story or part of a story that I can can use or write down and, and use later. We are all potential witnesses of completely original stories. By the nature of the universe, everyone's going to see things that are universal to human experience, but also completely different than anything that has been done or has happened before. Not completely different, but just a whole new angle, you know, something that, that, that no one has ever discussed in quite happening that way. So it's just a matter of, of thinking of yourself as becoming a connoisseur of, of those rare times in your life when, when you see that total original story taking place right, right in front of you in the real world. 
Okay, my third exercise for be becoming a story collector and finding that next original story idea. Uh, there's a website called postsecret.com and check it out. Basically, thousands of people write down secrets they, they would never tell anyone and, and mail it to um, to the guy who run, runs th this website and when I go and read it it's just amazing. It, the antidotes are, it, it's like a treasure trove of, of antidotes about the human condition and and I would never take one of those and, and, and directly turn them into a story but it gets me thinking and, and it, 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 it gets me thinking of new possibilities and then in, in when I'm working on a character, I might be able to put a little twist on it and have that character give them a secret that, that is sort of similar. And secrets are such a magical element to good fiction writing. And they can really bring a lot of powerful entertainment to fiction writing. So check out that website. I hope your writing goes good. Please leave a comment like button, all that, and I hope you have a good day.